The competitor in this Sunday's LA Marathon is a wife, mother, and an ALS patient in a wheelchair. She's also a participant in UCI's new study to stop the progression of the disease. KTLA 5's OC Bureau Chief Chipios is live with Andrea Palma with this story you'll see only on 5. She sounds pretty special, Chip. Uh, she is, and, you know, as you mentioned, she's going to be running or, or as they uh, say, I think they called it wheeling. Somebody says she's going to get pushed through the marathon. Uh, no, rolling. She's going to get rolled through the marathon by a bunch of volunteers. Loved ones are going to help her out. Some others are going to help her out. They're also going to try to raise some money for ALS along the way. But unfortunately, ALS is a terminal disease. Most people die within three to five years of being diagnosed. But with this new clinical study going on at UC Irvine and elsewhere, there's hope that will change. Raise your wrist up. Up towards you. <clears throat> so can't at all no. here. Lisa Wittenberg of Tribuco Canyon knows all too well what ALS can do to a person and how quickly it can do it. Last January, my family and I were sledding. We were up there in, in snow and we were sledding down hills and you know, having running around in snow. And then here I am a year later, completely unable to walk. Okay, you have to hold me up, Mom. I'm, I'm holding you. My 13 year old Andrew is um, the happiest kid alive. And to watch him watch me, it's hard. Ready to do about 26.2 miles of Ready. However, for Lisa and possibly others, there now is some hope. While most ALS patients die within five years of diagnosis, Lisa is participating in a clinical study at UC Irvine that hopes to change that. The brainstorm study involves a series of stem cell injections over a 28-week period. We're, we're hopeful to give patients more time so that they're not having to live with the profound disabilities that they have to suffer through. We're also optimistic that in some cases, it may actually improve some of their symptoms. I, I have the goosebumps right now because I get to fight. And, and I think it's amazing that I get to fight, but I want everybody to get to fight. Everybody with ALS should get to fight and should have hope. And she does have hope. And as I mentioned a little earlier, she is going to be not only fighting, but participating in the LA Marathon. You may have heard that comment also in the story there a little earlier, someone telling, asking her if she's ready for that. In addition to participating in the marathon, as I said, they're going to try to raise some money uh, along the way. And also, if you're interested in this study going on at UC Irvine, there's good news. They still are looking for some participants. If you want some information on that, what I'll do is a little bit later, I'll try to put out some links of information on my Twitter feed and maybe see if we can get some up on the KTLA website a little later as well. For now, reporting live in La Palma, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. Chip, great story and what a spirit. Yeah. We will be good pulling for her. Yeah. Wow. I know. Um, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's, sort of it's like, just like, oh, you're thinking about the 13-year-old son, and you're like, oh. Yeah. Um, anyway, good, it's going to be a good